You're listening to This Week in America with Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us. Back with us on the program, Robert Maxim. It's a pleasure to have him back in the program. Been looking forward to this. We're talking about his Legacy episode series. That's a novel 30 years in the making. Legacy is a story set in the future of mankind's previous sojourns through this and countless other worlds as experienced by the author. It describes one man's incredible journey through several lifetimes as far back as a million years. His blunders and triumphs in the many worlds and places where these experiences took place. The book also highlights advanced scientific and spiritual concepts written in lyrical, romantic prose. But most of all, it's a powerful love story deeply rooted in his unquenchable, desperate search through the vastness of space and time for his one soulmate. Five episodes, a million-year romance, past lives, space battles, intrigue, Lemuria, Atlantis, interdimensional scientific and spiritual principles of life, today's false religious beliefs, and other secrets exposed in detail. The series is a must-read by every truth seeker. It's fascinating. It's a legacy, the episode series. Back with us, as mentioned on the program, Robert Maxim. He is the author. And by the way, if you'd like to go look at uh, the previous show that we did with Robert, you can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Go to the YouTube channel. You can also listen on iTunes as well. And we're recording today's program a video for YouTube. And we've got some slides that Robert has during the course of the program. And you'll see the video version at our website as well. Robert, a pleasure to have you back. So much more to talk about. Intriguing conversation the last time. Thank you for being with us again on the program. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. And again, people can get further information on uh, the past program we did, talking about a legacy episode series with Robert Maxim at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Let's just sort of lay the groundwork for the background here and then get into some new area on the program today. Let's go back to the the sleep time visits that you had as a child. I believe the first was like in July of, of 1973. This literally changed changed your life at the time, a young boy at the time. Talk about what happened then. Uh, I was uh, a young teenager, and unexpectedly, um, I had a visitation to a higher spiritual world. Uh, this was followed by many other visions. Um, it's it's a world unlike anything I had ever seen before and ever imagined. Um, best way I can describe it is everything seemed translucent, crystalline. Uh, light emanating from everywhere. Flowers themselves seem to reach out to you and almost like as if they were alive. Uh, you had uh, beings that were surrounded by radiant energy, just absolutely beautiful to, uh, to be around them, extremely loving, friendly. Um, it's what you would call love at first sight. <laughs> well, yeah. Place- uh-huh. Yeah, and in the books, the series, you get this, uh, it really is a stark picture as, as you're reading. It's like, wow, and it's very descriptive, the series. We're talking about Legacy, the episode series. By the way, Robert's website is rgaten, that's G-A-E-T-A-N dot com. Information on all the books there, books, of course, available at uh, Amazon, the usual places as well. And you can link on to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, to get more information and uh, link on directly to Robert's website. And these visions, what continue, actually continue to this day, uh, both wake and sleep, right? That is correct. Uh, Many of the experiences uh, of late have been uh, flash realizations. I'll be walking down the street and all of a sudden uh, everything disappears and bam, there is a a picture, there is a vision. Um, I, I was recently extremely ill and... In the middle of it, here comes a vision of what had caused that condition in a previous life. Uh, and as soon as I see that scene and I apply the proper uh, principles uh, of energy uh, to the condition, it disappears. I didn't even notice it going away. That's how interesting it was. Um, the science of, of life, the science of energy, is a key component of everyone's lives. Uh, And it's key to understanding yourself, uh, why you're here, where are you going, self-healing, but most of all, your spiritual evolution, which is is a key component of life itself. You know, it's interesting in the beginning when when these started to happen in in July of 1973— 
Mm-hmm. You really were skeptical, and you started off a quest of what over 40 years, basically trying to refute what was happening, and you studied science, religion, the science of life that you talked about. And it really was an enlightening experience because you found out it, all of a sudden you're not skeptical. You are understanding exactly what this is that you were going through. You know, for a person like myself, I was a concert pianist. I, I knew nothing about science. Uh, or religion or science of life, anything like that. Uh, all of a sudden, I am hit with all of this information, visions and what have you. Didn't know what to think of it. Uh, but the more that I learned about uh, the science of life, I began to really put the pieces together uh, and not be so doubtful. Uh, you know, also, doubt has a limit. You get to a point where you have so much of this information coming in in such logical uh, sequence that you have no control over and everything seems to make sense. Um, Gosh, even the latest discoveries in Pluto. uh, I never imagined when I wrote that, uh, the description of what Pluto will be like 10 years ago, that this is what the New Horizons spacecraft would show. Exactly, exactly. (laughs) I thought of that as I was reading this. It's like, okay, they should have just talked to you and they could have saved a few billion dollars and you could have told them exactly what's happening. You're listening to This Week in America. Our guest on the program, once again, is Robert Maxim. That's M-A-X-X-I-M. The book, uh, it's a series called Legacy. It's available at the website rgaten, that's G-A-E-T-A-N.com. Of course, available at Amazon and other places, and you can click on directly to the uh, the website by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Let's talk a little bit about what other worlds look like in both a, a physical sense and, and, and a spiritual one as well. When you've you've traveled to other worlds, what are they like? Uh, I basically experienced the gamut. Uh, anywhere, a world's very similar to to ours. Others were not as uh, green as, as ours, you know, a little bit drier, some smaller, some larger. Some were moons going around uh, gigantic Jupiter-sized planets, uh, but others were of a spiritual nature. Um, you know, each world is in a different stage of development. Some are less technical than ours, others more so. And the same thing goes for uh, matters of devotion, uh, faith, and, and the understanding of the infinite. Then, above the physical, you have highly developed spiritual worlds, of which uh, I was um, privileged to visit some, uh, but there's others so much higher, so much higher than, than those that I visited. Uh, their beauty and, and, and the way that energy and time and space works there, it's just beyond the mind. What I'd like to do is show you perhaps a few of these pictures. Yes, please do. And again, I'll I'll mention that uh, we're available on YouTube. You go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, and pull up the YouTube channel, the icon for the YouTube channel, and you will see the the pictures that Robert is showing us. Go ahead and take us through a journey here. Sure. One thing I want to mention is a dear friend of mine, not too long ago, uh, taught me a, a great lesson. And he basically said to me, you know, uh, if you if it doesn't happen for you, it's because you don't want to. Uh, and I don't count myself as unique in what I have experienced. I believe that every being in this world can also have these same experiences. And maybe they do, but they don't trust them, they doubt them, or they turn the other eye. But this is something that's not unique to uh, one person in particular. This is universal. Every Every being has the ability to to have these sites and to learn these lessons. It's interesting if somebody is listening and they're thinking, boy, that's something that I would really like to cultivate. I would I would like to develop this. How do they go about doing that? Um, the first thing is you have to understand yourself. If you don't, then how can you tell yourself from reality? The first problem that we have is that we grow up surrounded by mundanity, by evil, by temptation, and we learn to be defensive. We learn to be, um, uh, to reject reason, uh, to hate, to fear. And with all of those emotions, we wind ourselves up into a lost cause. 
so that's where uh, understanding of of life is important, especially that it is a scientific principle, and in that science, explainable. You've got a picture up on the screen now. What are you seeing? And again, we're for those people listening on the radio, the TV version of this is available at YouTube, and you'll be able to see that. And uh, uh, Robert will be descriptive, so we have uh, everybody will have an idea what it is that we're that we're talking about here. Uh, these are uh, brief scenes of, of what I would term underground cities uh, that have been built on a, on a nearby a planet known as Mars, actually. Uh, the sky, as you see above, that's not the, the normal sky, but it is kind of like a hologram. And being inside of the city, it's no different than being outside. You feel the warmth from the sun, uh, the air is fresh, but the cleanliness and and the kindness of the people is just outstanding. Uh, this other scene is, is from the bottom. They have these tramways that take you all over the planet underground. And some of those tubes have actually been photographed in space. Uh, some of them protrude to, to, the, um, to the ground, and they are visible. Interesting. Um, this other picture, this is from a long time ago. This is another world in the constellation Skutai. And I described this world in episode number two. Uh, I also described the technology that they use and how they generated power. This is a little further away. This is actually in the uh, Magellan Clouds. Uh, going back in time, this is part of episode number three. It's a long uh, occupied world. It's still in existence. But this is one of my brief sojourns about a million years ago. Interesting now, pictures. I, these are, oh, this, okay, I like this. Yeah, very very graphic, very colorful. Uh -huh. This was, this is what I met when I opened my eyes on a higher plane world. This is a spiritual world. It's actually not too far away. This is actually Venus. Now, a scientist would hear this and say, well, how is that possible? It's It's got scorching 900 degree temperatures, 90 times the atmospheric pressure of this planet. If you land there, you'd be scorched and crushed like a pancake. Well, there again, in higher dimensions, time, space, pressure, temperature does not apply as it does here. So as you elevate yourself into these higher frequency realms, the ball game changes. Uh, the laws of physics um, change and this is what this world is, many, many dimensions above ours. Uh, one, one issue, if you, if you notice these individuals, they have like a blue glow about them. Yes. Uh, they showed these forms for my comfort. At the end of the vision, they showed me what they really look like. And they turn into bright, almost, uh, you could not see them. It's so brilliant flames, the flames of energy, uh, beautiful to watch, scintillating, colorful, radiating. Uh, and it was something that you could touch with your entire being. And no longer was there a need to communicate verbally. It was like a one-on-one. -on -one. I was inside of them. They were inside of me. And it was the, the loveliest of all experiences. This is inside of that city. It's a very peaceful uh, atmosphere, isn't it? Yes, and it is actually a school. Uh, th their cities have been designed to educate beings of lower worlds. This is what they dedicate themselves to, uh, to help progress other beings and worlds such as ours. And how convenient that we're only 25 million miles away from them. <laughs> Although we're several dimensions apart. <laughs> that, yes. If you're listening to This Week in America, and you are listening to This Week in America, website thisweekinamerica.us, we're talking about Legacy, the episode series. With us, the author Robert Maxim, M-A-X-X-I-M, -X -X and information on the series available at the website rgaten.com. That's G-A-E-T-A-N.com. The book's available, the series available at Amazon. You can link on directly at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Video version of the program, we're talking, uh, Robert's doing a narration on some of the, uh, some of the uh, illustrations that he has. And as I'm listening, as I'm reading Legacy, the series, 
what we're talking about here seems like a, a, a very calm atmosphere. There's nothing really frightening about this. And when you were having these visions, was that what you experienced? This was like almost a, a tranquil situation, a, tra- a tranquil tra- a transition? Uh, extremely tranquil. There's no, I encountered no fear whatsoever, uh, no anger, no desire whatsoever. And also the way that time seemed to transpire, if I wanted to walk from the position in which I am at clear to the end of, of this esplanade, I did not have to walk. I just thought of being at that end and I would automatically be there. Uh, experiences happen in thoughts. So you live at the speed of thinking. You don't live at the speed of, of time. Again, time is, is, uh, does not apply. And to give you an example, this is a picture of being inside of a, of a spacecraft, and this is a master that is speaking to me. Uh, this master, in one thought, explained how this entire ship worked. One single thought. One thought. One thought. Uh, and I've had that thought with me for 44 years, and I cannot forget it. Uh, overall, I felt like I spent 100 years on this plane. Well, only two hours transpired. And this is another world. This would be uh, the moon Titan, which orbits Saturn. Uh, again, folks would say, well, it's 350 below, uh, below freezing um, on this world. It's got a methane atmosphere and lakes of uh, you know, liquid nitrogen, and it's impossible to live there. Again, you have to remember that life exists on different planes. Uh, the physics that we understand today only helps us mechanically in, in the section of the universe or the plane of the universe that we exist in. Above it, there are other rules, and those rules are the ones that make the rules on this plane. Now, this is a very high plane. This is... Uh, the city or part of the city of Hermes. Uh, my best understanding is that this world is somewhere in the vicinity of the Gemini constellation. This is my personal feeling. Uh, again, it's, it's an enormous city. There's a very, very small part of it. Um, and uh, this is, again, a garden within uh, this planet. Now, you will notice something very interesting. You will notice that there is a cathedral, uh, a French the, cathedral yes, there. Yes. Uh, yeah, there's a huge cathedral there, a pyramid, and what would be a replica of um, Solomon's Temple on the left. Okay. Uh, this entire city is a collective of historical constructs, which were the inspiration for the creation of the same structures on this and other worlds. We've got a couple of minutes left in the program. Boy, it goes by so quickly when Robert is with us on the show. We're talking about the Legacy Book Series, and the books uh, are available uh, at Amazon. Information available at the website rgaten.com. That's R-G-A-E-T-A-N.com. And really some, some excellent illustrations that you were able to show. And again, if you're just joining us, you can go to the, uh, pick up the video version of this by going to uh, thisweekinamerica.us and clicking on the icon for YouTube and finding the uh, the program that we've done there. Uh, Robert, how many more pictures do we have? Are we missing some here? Uh, this is the end of the pictures that I have on both physical and spiritual worlds. Okay. Okay. That's good. I, I thought we were getting close to the end on that. And uh, if you're watching, there are probably people that are going, what do you do with that information? How has this information changed your life and what relevance does it have in, in our lives? Let's start with what this information is, has done for you. How has this changed your life? Well, there's nothing like knowing the truth. Uh, and when I when I realized what the truth were and how these different planes worked and how that applies to my life today, I couldn't help but change my life around. Um, I was an individual that was very selfish. Uh, I will admit um, I still suffer from that condition. Um, but 
in knowing the principles and knowing exactly why I am the way that I am, uh, the principles that were taught to me on this world has made me change a lot of those attitudes, realize how unimportant they are and how important truth and honesty and love really are. That is the key to the universe. As a matter of fact, that's what constructed the universe, love and truth. Uh, and that is my, my biggest takeaway from all of these experiences and what I have learned. It will take me billions, trillions of years, if not more, to really come to understand what all of that means. I'm just a meager beginner. And well, and so much of this is reflected in Legacy, the series, like I say, a novel 30 years in the making. It's a, a story set in the future of mankind's previous sojourns, and we've talked about yours on the program, how it really helps you put the uh, the past in perspective, doesn't it? It it helps you make a lot of sense on what's happened to, to Robert in, in the past. Well, yes, indeed, uh, Rick. And even though I feel like I'm a brand new being, the more that I learn, the more that I realize that I have so much, so much more to to learn, uh, to share, uh, how, so much spiritual elegance that I have to adopt, kindness, uh, selflessness. You know, what can I give of myself? What more can I can I do for my fellow man? I have not done enough, and. I feel that I have done so much of the opposite in past lives. I wonder if I will ever catch up, honestly. Well, it is a fascinating discussion, a fascinating series. It's a great read, and you'll enjoy the uh, the series. It's Legacy Episode Series. It's available at the website rgaetan.com. Uh, a lot of great information at that website as well. Information, of course, on the book as well as what Robert's been talking about on the program. Uh, the author is Robert Maxim, M-A-X-X-I-M, and you can link on and get all of this information by going to our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Robert, it is always a pleasure. The time goes by too quickly every time you're with us, and uh, we will have you back in the program and continue our discussion. Rick, as always, it is a pleasure. It is our pleasure, sir. Thank you for being with us. Once again, we're talking about Legacy, the episode series available uh, by author Robert Maxim at the website rgaten.com. That's R-G-A-E-T-A-N.com. And, of course, information at our website, thisweekinamerica.us. <laughs> 